turn on the line, Roaring. I've got a lion calling her brand new cubs. So we've come back to the den site, and if we're really, really lucky, everyone, if we cross every finger and hold every thumb and, you know, all of those things you do for good luck, we're going to see brand, brand new little cubs. She's calling, and they're calling back. Of course, as I called you across, she's not. No, don't go there, girl. Don't go there. I can hear the little things yowling down in the drainage line. Come on, girl. All right, everybody, let's just sit tight. Can you hear them? I think the wind is drowning out their calls. Little ow sounds. Frantic little calls from tiny, tiny little cubs. I know the wind is blowing. Well, let's check to the right again, just in case. You can hear them. You can hear them. They sound like little cats. Yeah, she's calling them again. There's a cup. Look, 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 look. She's picking it up. Look at that. It's a little sausage. Oh, you gorgeous little creature. I know it's dark, guys. You got them red lights on there, man. They don't look like they're on. Oh, they know they are on. Look at this tiny, tiny, weeny creature. Oh, that is just a few days old, everyone. This unfortunately is as close as we can get. These cubs are very tiny. I mean, these are really but a few days old. Listen. cubs a couple of days maybe maybe no let's say 10 days i would say from what i can see it's difficult to tell oh hold on everyone our proud cat mother lovely to hear you i'm glad you were watching that i hope you enjoyed it as much as i did sorry let me just concentrate on getting I don't want to use our spotlight on cubs that small, that I think most of you can understand, most of you know that we're very, very careful with our spotlight use with tiny cubs. Which means I just have to concentrate a little bit in the dark. I don't think we can, is that her over there, Manu? I can just see a pale something. Um, that's her there, there we go. In the left third of your screen there, in the center of your screen, up a little. No, no, left to the screen. Left, left. There we go. That's her there. Okay, I'm going to reposition one more time. 
Now that I know exactly where she is, I'm just going to turn around so we've got a better angle. Proud cat mama. Uh, yes, the, the little lion cubs are born very, very altricial, without little teeth. Oh, somebody's been driving there. Not the only one. So we are also in the non-off-roading area, which um, does change things as well. But with this, with cubs this small, we wouldn't be going close regardless. So proud cat mama, yes, tiny little lion cubs are born completely altricial. They are essentially helpless. Blind, unlike hyena cubs that are born with their eyes open, cubs that are born with their eyes open and with fully erupted teeth, lion cubs are born tiny little blind bumbles of helplessness. Is that the cub there or did she just abandon the thing? Is that a cub? I think that's her foot. I think that baby's still shouting at her. Hey, mummy. Did you just leave it? Yes, you did just leave it. It's squealing at you. It must be just below her, somewhere there. Just below her in that dip down that way. Manu, can we look down? Okay. <laughs> I think, let me just stay for one second. Let's just have a look just below her. Sorry, Manu, let's just check down, down below her. Where's this cub? I can hear it. And I don't know how many there are. She's calling them. Okay, you've got a really good idea as to just how far back we are, the fact that we're across a lugger from them. What I'm going to do is shift onto that road over there. Oh. Oh, you're making such a noise. You're going to draw attention to yourself. I'm just going to reposition ever so slightly because I misgaged where the road is. Okay. Well, I go get what I'm going to consider to be the cutest cub in the universe, obviously. Let's go back across to James who's also having baby lions galore.